Well, here is the official tour of the Exto One vehicle that's going to house, uh, will be our home for, I don't know, 37 nights coming up in uh, October. And I'll give you the full official tour up front. Captain and co captain. And there is a third seat that flips up underneath those subway napkins. Those are the most sacred napkins in all of fast food land, as many of you know. They don't just give those away. I can't tell you the things we have to do to get those. Above that cab is a full-size queen-size bed. That is going to be Riley in Ryder's spot. They have taken claim to that. With a 32-inch swing-out TV. And there's your seven-day forecast if you live in Evansville, Indiana. Behind there is the dinette, U-shaped dinette. That table comes down. Cushion sits on top of that table, and that makes a bed as well. And next to that is a couch that also folds down and creates a queen-size bed via a built-in air mattress that lays on top of all of that. Coming towards the back, you're going to pass the kitchen area. Pretty large kitchen. Full-size uh, full microwave up top. Lots of cabinet space along both sides, so we can cram all kinds of junk in there. That's a TV antenna right there. I put that there so I don't forget that it's uh, it's actually up. So I'll have to remove that before we start uh, moving. I don't want to rip it off. Back to the kitchen. Nice deep uh, sinks. And these remove for additional counter space as you need it. Full-size microwave, I didn't mention that already, and a three-burner propane stovetop, and a nice size propane oven. If it does work, we've used it. Full-size residential refrigerator, that'll house all kinds of junk food here very soon. And the freezer's already doing this job with the ice cream and cookies. Well done. There is a nice pull-out pantry with additional junk food. Well, oh, that's pretty decent. There as well. I see macaroni back there. In the rear bedroom is a full, uh, actually it's a king size RV bed. So it's just uh, a little bit smaller than a normal size king size bed. Lots of storage uh, up top and all these closets have a lot of storage as well down below and the TV also flips up for additional storage and you can see we've already started packing for our trip we do have two air conditioners one rear and one in the front and a decent sized bathroom trash can right now is sitting in the shower but uh, I can stand in that shower and uh, Plenty of headroom, skylight above, and the full-size porcelain throne, that's a real porcelain, and a nice size sink and vanity. So our home away from home, actually it will be our home for the next uh, 37 nights. Control panels here for uh, our generator, our slides, water pumps, and propane units. There's a really nice electronic leveling system, I just push the button and watch it go, automatic. And that's a walk around remote that all those features can be controlled by that remote. Stepping outside, the pretty large awning, LED lighting across the uh, whole side of it. Another 32 inch TV outside. And all this basement storage is uh, passed through all the way to the other side. And it's a watertight sealed compartments. That little door right there is locked, but I can get to it from the inside. I think it's pretty cool. It's a mud room. Uh, we can put our shoes in uh, there from the outside and not track mud and dirt inside the RV. 68 pound propane tank. Should be enough to run our furnace and water heater and the other uh, stove and oven for quite some time. More basement storage. 
got my tools, tool kit, and a portable heater back here. Again, it's all passed through. It goes all the way to the other side. And one more large storage compartment, which is the giant one. And we've got uh, some propane bottles there for our portable heating unit and some torch stuff in there. You never know what you need on the road. Ladder to get to the top. Rear view cameras. That full side uh, slide is extended at the moment, as you can see there. 50 amp service and a 6,000 watt generator that will power everything uh, on this unit diesel generator. More storage, those are compartments, uh, those are the pass throughs. Here, I'll open this one up. We've got uh, some wood blocks in there. I got a tool kit, uh, actually, some, some lubricants and sprays, and a few additional parts in there. I got uh, additional DEF fluid for the diesel, and then some RV and marine antifreeze in there as well. Walking up to the front, I'll open the door. It's a beast, it's nice to drive. That 6.7 liter diesel, uh, which I've got the hood open right now because I think it's a work of art. I don't really recognize anything in there. So anything that needs to be worked on is going to have to be worked on by somebody much smarter than me, which is pretty much anybody. Well, there she is. We'll just need to get her cleaned up and fully stocked, which we're getting there right now. And we'll be hitting the road here in one week.